Jorge Dussault Photography Center, exhibition by Jorge Dussault and Eduardo Perez Sanchez, by the strength of the plow. This exhibition shows us photos by Georges Dussault and Eduardo Perez Sanchez. Georges is a French photographer. Eduardo is a Spanish photographer. Both of them visited Portugal many times and took pictures of Trazos Montes. The exhibition is called By the Strength of the Plow. The five rooms have many photos. All the photographs are in black and white. This exhibition has 140 photos. We chose 35 photos. At the start of the exhibition, right at the entrance of room 1, there's a wall text. Let's read the text. Georges Dussault was born in 1934 in Bru, a town in France. He arrived in Portugal in the summer of 1980. He visited Trazos Montes and Barroso. Georges liked what he found, a region that seemed lost in time. Between 1938 and 1989, Eduardo Perez Sanchez also photographed the villages of Valpasos. Eduardo was born in 1950 in Barcelona, Spain. Georges and Eduardo were foreigners in Portugal. Portugal experienced 40 years of dictatorship. Dictatorship is a form of government where only one person is in charge of everything, and people are not allowed to say what they want. In the 1980s, Portugal began to interact more with foreign countries. In 1986, Portugal joined the European Economic Community. Today, it is called the European Union. The European Union is an institution of countries in Europe. The Portuguese also started to buy more things. Even so, the other European countries were more developed. However, Trajos Montes stayed behind. Things were changing all over the country, but more so in the cities near the sea. The Portuguese were getting used to democracy. Democracy is a form of government where people vote to choose who will represent them. The Portuguese were getting used to be free. But in Trazos Montes, changes came slow. Here, the plow was still in use. The plow is a tool for loosening the soil and roots, and preparing it for sowing vegetables. It seemed as if time stood still in Trazos Montes. This exhibition shows the black and white photos of Georges and Eduardo. Their photos are very similar. They photographed Trazos Montes in the 1980s. Jorge da Costa was the curator of this exhibition. The Braganza Municipality and the Jorge Dussault Photography Center created this exhibition. Room 1. Room 1 talks about people and their animals. They are very important to work the land. Photo 1 of Eduardo Santavalia, 1985. I liked this photo because here is a woman and a dog. It reminds me of my grandmother's house. Outside the house, there are some stairs and a rope to hang the clothes. Hanging from the rope is a white plastic bag. On the windows, we see some small pots to put the little flowers. We also see casulos, and near the big door, there is a wheelbarrow. Casulo is a word from Trazos Montes that means bowl. Photo 2 by Eduardo, Agordela, 1985. This photo appears to be from a different neighborhood. The houses are made of stone, and we see the roofs of two houses, one on the right side and another on the left side of the photo. We see some poles for women to lay out their clothes in the sun. At the back, there is a donkey for children to go for a walk. By the door, there are three boys. In the photo, there are also mountains and electricity poles and electricity cables. Photo 3 by Georges. Griliot Parada, 1987. I liked this photo because it looks like a village with many houses. There is a well-dressed boy, but his shoes are very worn out. There is also a child on top of the cross. I don't know how he climbed up to the cross. There is another boy with his mother at the foot of the stairs. The White House is nice and next to its shack. Photo 4 by Eduardo. Tiñela, 1986. I liked this photo because there are two girls talking. The number of the door appears to be 20. On the rock walls, we see a lot of old windows. The stairs are also very old. It looks as if the stones were placed on top of each other, so they don't seem to be very safe to me. There is also a door at the background. Photo 5 by Georges. Sutilino, 1985. I liked this photo. A man is grabbing the ram by its horns. Behind the man, there is another man opening the door of a shack. It must be to get the animals inside. Photo 6 by Eduardo, Sutilino, 1991. The man is feeding the sheep. I like photos with animals. There is also an ox and a dog without a tail. I feel sorry for him. Photo 7 by Georges, Sendin, 1990. A man is pulling an ox with a rope. There are boards and stones on the floor. 
It looks as if the man is pulling the ox to go for a bullfight. The ox is furious. It doesn't want to go with the man. It's got his paw up and looks as if it's going to kick. Photo 8 by Georges. Vilarinho Seco, 1984. This photo has many cows. When I was younger, I also shepherded the cows. They were my uncle's cows that I used to take to the wetlands. The photo brought back that memory. Photo 9 by Georges, Ponteira, 1981. The woman is holding the cow's horn. Her other hand is on her waist. The man at the back is laughing. I think he's enjoying her pose. The woman is very happy. There are stones and a lot of hay on the ground. At the back, there is an old door. Photo 10 from Georges, Meixedo, 1984. This man carries a yoke to till the land. A yoke is a piece of wood that is put on the horns of oxen or cows. With this, they pull the plow to till the land. The woman pulls two cows, one black and one white. There are brushes and trees. The man and the woman are in the middle of the wetland. Photo 11 by Eduardo, Agordela, 1985. This man is tickling the boy. He's really naughty. The boy has his hands on his waist. His trousers are torn. The man has a pole and string in his hand. I don't know what they are for. They both look very happy. Photo 12 from Georges, Negroinj, 1983. People are harvesting potatoes. Others are spreading hay. I like this photo because it has people and children. I too harvest potatoes and picked up firewood. Room 2. Room 2 shows the bread cycle from harvesting to making bread. Photo 13 from Georges, Negroinj, 1982. These women are making bread. Next to them is the flour and the bread dough. My mother made bread. She learned from her mother. I have not learned yet how to make bread. Photo 13 from Georges. Teliedo, 1983. In this photo, the woman is also making bread. There is a mother and a child. We have flour on one side and bread on the other. There is also a sieve. A sieve is that round piece in the photo that separates the coarse flour from the fine flour. The woman has a cloth on her head to keep her hair clean. The girl is not happy because her clothes are soiled with flour. Photo 15 from Georges, Lavradas, 1995. In the photo, we see a man. He's inside the house. It must be to sell bread to people. Some people sell their bread at home. They're leavening. Leavening is letting the dough rest to grow and become fluffier. Behind the man is a window. Maybe he will sell the bread from the window. Photo 16 by Georges, Serra do Laruco, 1980. I chose this photo because we see a boy who is taking care of the pigs. The pigs are of a large breed. There's a very big medeiro. A medeiro is a heap of straw. Photo 17 by Georges, La Pella, 1991. People are reaping the bread. It can be wheat or rye. Reaping is cutting the grain with sickle to be harvested. Next to them, we see a picnic bag, a little dog, and a jug of water. They are reaping to make bales with the straw. Then they will make bread. It's in Tres os Montes because we see lots of hills. Room 3. Room 3 shows the seasons of the year and their tasks. Photo 18 by Georges. Villarandelo, 1986. The woman is sitting on a stool with a walking stick in her hand. She looks as if she's thinking about life. She must be thinking, what am I going to do? God is great. He will look after me and take care of me. Behind her is a door and stones. The house is made of stone. Photo 19 by Georges, Montesino, 1987. This man is sitting on a bench. A dog is by his side. On the table, there's a bottle and a cloth wrapping food. On the ceiling, we have alheiras, sausages and butelos. Alheiras are stuffed tripes with meat, bread and spices. Butelos are pork stuffed stomach with meat, bones and cartilage. Next to him, there's a sunshade and a chestnut roaster. When the chestnuts are good, you pour them into the roasting pan and put them on the fire. There is also a fireplace and a grill. Room 4. Room 4 talks about the festivals in the villages, the masses and processions, the games and traditional music and dances. Photo 20 by Georges. Oslian, 1987. It's a feast of important people. 
They are eating and drinking port wine. On their heads, they have some sort of can. These gentlemen are the kings of the festivities called keretush. Keretush mean people wearing masks. These are winter parties and are celebrated from December till Carnival. Photo 21 by Georges. Viveiro, 1983. This policeman is walking with his woman. This woman has lace on her head and a rosary in her hand because she's going to mass. The policeman will walk her so she doesn't get robbed. Photo 22 by Georges. Butelo, 1984. I really liked this photo because the girl is dressed as an angel. She has feathers and wings on her back. They must be real feathers. She's looking sideways because she's thinking about life. She's serious and maybe a little sad. Photo 23 by Georges. Villa de Castaneda, 1984. In this photo, the children are all gathered at the foot of the crosses of God. They are hearing God speaking to them. They are listening very carefully. Room 5. The last room has photos of families and their animals. It also has many pictures of children. Photo 24 of Georges, Egrelos, 1981. We have two women here. One is the mother and the other the grandmother. The mother has their dog on her lap to warm her legs. Above them is a photo with their husbands. The house is very old and dark. Photo 25 of Georges, Egrelos, 1981. This is a man and his wife. The German Shepherd is guarding them. I choose this photo because I like these dogs. They are good at protecting. The child must be their granddaughter. The kitchen is old and dark. It's dirty like the old kitchens. Photo 26 of Georges. Couvelage, 1985. In the photo there's a woman with a kitten. Below the fireplace we have three-legged pots and a cassolo. A cassolo is a word from Trajus Montes that means a pot or a pan. The woman is sitting on a stool, thinking about life. There are many baskets scattered across the floor. Photo 27 of Georges, Agrelus, 1981. It's a woman in a room. There is a table with flowers decorating the room. Daylight enters the room, making it very bright. It gives it a special color. The room is tidy. It's a tidier house than some we have seen. The floor is wooden. It's not a house of farmers, but of people with more money. Photo 28 of George, Pitons Juniors, 1990. I like this photo because of the two children. They are grazing their cows. They are sitting on the rocks to rest. They seem to be thinking. They have beautiful eyes. They can be sisters. Photo 29 of George, Pitons Juniors, 1985. The boy is a baby boy in his lap. The boy seems to be sleeping. Behind him, there is a girl. They are in the living room of a house. The living room has a fireplace. Photo 30 of Georges, Cambres do Rio, 1990. In the photo, there are three boys. One of them points a pistol at something. The other boys have their hands in their pockets. These two boys are smiling. They have long blonde hair. The boy with the pistol is concentrating. They are playing with an air pressure gun. Behind them, there is a lot of firewood and stones. Photo 31 of Georges. Pitons Juniors, 1983. There are 11 boys and girls. Some boys have school bags in their hands, others don't. Some are covered because it must be winter. It is very cold. It reminds me of Heidi's story. Heidi is a little girl who lived in the mountains in Switzerland with her grandfather. Some children are sad. There is a child with their hand over their mouth laughing. Another one is embarrassed, and others have their hoods over their heads. There is a boy who seems to be upset and angry. There are many old houses around them. Photo 32 by Georges. Alturas do Barroso, 1983. A boy is standing on the wooden platform. He stands on the platform to reach the board and write. On the board is written, Alturas, 24th February, 1983. On the top of the board is a cross. There are books on the table and a drawing of a train. It looks like a primary school that villagers used to have. Primary school in Portugal starts at age 6 and ends at age 10. Photo 33 of Georges, Fratsch, 1981. There is a dog and a little girl in a dirty dress. Maybe she leaned on a dog. The girl is serious and thoughtful. It looks like the summer because she's wearing sandals. The dog has its mouth open. It looks hungry. Photo 34 of Eduardo, Santa Valle, 1985. 
The little girl stands at the doorway with a happy, playful face. She's dirty on her knees. She's also dirty on the face. She wears wellies on her feet to go to the vegetable gardens. Photo 35 of Eduardo, Santa Valle, 1985. Here is a boy who seems to be playing with the dice. He is sitting on a bench. The table is a crate of sumol and frisumo that were used in the old days. Sumol and frisumo are two brands of fizzy drinks. These crates were also used for beer and water. Technical acknowledgements. The visits were created and validated by Filipe Vaz, Lucia Pereira, Marco Fons, Miguel Cifrosio, Monica Santos, Paulo Sá. The facilitators were Colin Martins and Katia Brocó. The texts were made with the support of Academia dos Santos Mártires, Bragança, Ascut, Social Cultural Association of the Disabled of Trás Montes, Bragança, and FENACERCI, National Federation of CERCI. These texts were produced within the project Culture for All Bragança, North 074230FSE0000058 of the Municipality of Bragança. It was funded by the European Social Fund. It was carried out by the Polytechnic Institute of Bragança. José Luís de Castro and Laura Azevedo are the voices in these recordings. José Luís de Castro was in charge of the audio edition.